Hello, it's Mate G. Welcome back to the server. This is Dale Farm. Um, I'm just going to show you some updates that we've made since you've last seen it. So, field 22. No longer a proper field. It's our new warehouse and logistics centre. So the tractor's a little noisy. There we go. So we have our warehouse here. This holds everything. You can see what we've got in there at the moment. Got quite a lot of bits and bobs. Uh, looking to sell bread very shortly. Uh, we've still got small bits of fields here and here. Um, when the winters, well, when December's passed and January has passed, and we can plant grass again, the idea is to plant grass here and over here. We'll use that towards the animals. Um, it's, it'll also be used as a temporary surface until we've got enough money. We are going to do some grapes. We've got a grape processing plant right behind us, so we might as well use it. See, so that's the warehouse. It's brilliant mod. If anyone hasn't used them yet, I do suggest get one. I also suggest using the free build mode to place it. It makes it a little bit smoother. As I say, you can see I've got a hill here, an incline. So my lines are above the ground here and there, as you can see them. Doesn't affect use, but it's smooth and drivable. So I quite like it. Obviously, I've done my usual little additives. Uh, and then I've gone for one of these big machine sheds. Again, sticking with the same pack, the British British shed pack. Or English shed pack. And in here is the logistics. So we have our TLX tipper. 52. Um, that's obviously hauling grain, etc. for sale. We have the auto load trailer. The big curtain cider. And we also have our big milk tanker. And we have two trucks. I'm not sure why I got two. <laughs> I might have to sell one eventually, but got two trucks. That fills it. TLX went from in there, that's for certain. And that leads us to our next new new area, which was built only hours ago. In game time as well. I think we built it around about nine nine AM, give or take. We have given the information out for this server before, um, before we really uh, established it. And I believe someone or one person who has that had that information has been on to have a nose around and skipped forward a day. It's definitely not one of the guys that are on here and it wasn't me. Because we've all lost at least a field to withering. It's unfortunate, but it happens. So here's our new little area. This is in the bottom of field 24. It used to be a grass field. Then we converted it to one giant field. Now it's being stripped again to make way for this. <laughs> and what is this? Well, this is our little storage yard. It's our manure heap with our little tiny pile of poop. And we've got a little tractor, which pretty much runs the show. We've got our feed mix. This should be full. Yeah. Um, that is all the TMR we've got. Uh, not made anymore. That you should have enough feed and straw for now. But all we've got left is four hay bales and four straw bales, which we bought from the store because we haven't have none have none at, at the time. And then I realised that I had a few few bits loose in the silo over there. But there we go. Yeah, and we've also got a slurry tanker. For 52 grand a whole lot well i think it was about 52 52 and a half or something like that uh 64 off and 51 percent off this is the reason we're doing cows it was available to buy and i thought wow that's cheap we'll get that for when we do cows bang we're doing cows <laughs> so this is the cow shed from the hessian pack Holds up to 45 cows. You be quiet, Daisy. Yeah, you got your slurry point here. 
And I'm assuming your milk as well, milk and slurry. We'll soon find out. Uh, when we go to use it. Straw bedding, you can dump pretty much anywhere. It lets you have the trigger in here. The same with the food. That's a tip point there. But as I say, it is anywhere along here. And I'm assuming you get something out here. Could be milk, could be slurry. There is no pipe for it. There is a door. And I'm guessing it's milk here because that looks like a milk machine. There you go. Haven't used this one before. It is all new. It's It looks pretty. Definitely is uh, a nice upgrade in looks compared to the... Uh, the in-game ones. I love the fact that this happened. This was by pure mistake. I was trying to line it up against the wall. And just before I, s it, uh, I set it, it sunk in. And that looks perfect. Uh, and that's just to add light around the walkways, etc. If we're doing any nighttime work. For some reason, although I placed this down on flat land. And I, uh, you know, I use free mode to do it. I still ended up with this dip and it goes all the way across and I can't smooth it I can't do anything with it so we just left it it's fine it doesn't cause any big as long as you're not going over like you know 30 odd miles an hour you're fine and we're gonna jump into aerial view quickly there we go so there's the little addition I'm probably going to be lining it off here all the way across and um, we'll turn this area back into grass and again if we need it for building that's where we'll build and we'll keep the rest of the field as arable this is our sheep field uh, I've lost myself ah there we are <laughs> So there we have the new little area there. Uh, if we zoom up in the air, shoot across. And there's the new little area up here with the warehouse. And uh, you can imagine I'd probably, when this all comes to being grass, I'll probably start here with the vineyard. Going up and down. Five rows across, big gap, five rows across. That's going to be the idea and everywhere else be grass. So there you have it. That's the update to the Dale farm. And we still have our beautiful Massey 100 open cab. This is our little shunt tractor. And it also does some uh, daily tasks. We've had some equipment changes. That's definite. Different tractors. We've got a couple of big ones now. Uh, those got two 8Rs. That's one. One's in the washroom, I believe. And the fast track. The Massey has left us. Seems sense us having another big big tractor. Uh, nothing's really changed around here. We have aha, here we go. There's our harvesters. We have two now. We have our corn headed harvester here. Hang on, I can't try to jump on it. There we go. This is the case, 9250, it's the big one, 14,500 litre capacity. That's the self-trailer header. Um, there's two, we've got two of these. Bought one and one in sale. Yeah, bought one and one in sale to replace our old harvesters. And the reason we have two, uh, 28 is ours. That is normally arable. Here is ours. That's normally arable. We've joined these ones up here. So that's arable. And we've joined these three up here. That's arable. And the reason we have two is not because of we've got so many. But it's because of this bad boy here. Just here. Uh, if I go over to... Turn that off. There we go. 20, 14, 11, 10, 9, 12, 6, 13 and 7. We've joined the whole fields up. That's one giant field. 
well, I say giant field. It's not much bigger than our biggest field prior to this, but um, yeah, that's going to be a, that's going to create a good yield. Yeah, everything's been harvested, gutted, ploughed, or cultivated, and that is ready for seeding um, or planting, shall I say? Not hundred percent exactly what we're going to do there, but it'll probably be direct drill, just because of the amount of time it would take to get that all ploughed in completely. But yeah, if I click here, there you go, you can see a better option on the farm. We still have field 87. We don't touch that. We act like we don't own that at all. It's just grass. Any one of us can use that field to just plough some grass in. As you can see, Mike's extended his farm dramatically with the money that he had. I think he's trying to join these fields here together. He had a lot of trees to remove. The reason I chose this area to do it was only a few rows of trees and lots of hedges so it was a lot easier to chop and change that um our next possible adventurous one would be these two probably purchase these and join these two up probably won't be able I don't, we can't join it up to this because there is although you can't see it there's a long line of trees all the way along there but yeah that's that's the uh that's the update from my side so i've been matty g as always, this has been the server. This is Dale Farm. This is roughly halfway through our lifespan of the server. So until next time, peace out. Please like and subscribe. Um, have, a look, have a look at Two Canadians, which is Mike's channel. It's only got a couple of videos, but he's hoping to get back into filming again soon. Till then, take care.